Hello students, today we are seeing tracing of parametric curves. So what is parametric curves? Curve in form of x which is equals to f of t and y equals to g of t. If we can write curve in this form then it is called as parametric curve. For example, let x equals to sin t y equals to cos t then this gives parametric curve okay let us see rules of parametric curves so first rule is limitation of the curve so if possible find the greatest and least values of x and y for proper values of t that is for some values of t if x and y are restricted then we can say that are, that values are limitations of curve for example if we have x equals to sin t and y equals to t plus cos t here we know that for any value of t sin is restricted in 0 or minus 1 to 1 Therefore, x equals to minus 1 to 1 is limitation of the curve. Second point is symmetry. So, here we have to find symmetry about x-axis, y-axis and symmetry in opposite quadrant. So, first for symmetry about x-axis. Uh, if x is even function and y is odd function then given curve is symmetric about x axis that is after replacing f of uh, after replacing t by minus t that is f of minus t equals to f of t and g of minus t equals to minus g of t then the curve is symmetric about x axis for example let us take x equals to x square and y equals to x cube plus sorry let us take x equals to t square and y equals to t cube plus t here x is even function and y is odd function therefore curve is symmetric about x axis similarly uh, curve is symmetric about y axis if we have x as odd function and y as even function and x is odd and y is even then we can say curve is symmetric about x axis this is the first point and we have second point as for trigonometric functions that is for sine cos tan cot functions if x is odd and x is odd and y is even with respect to pi minus t after replacing t by pi minus t we get function x odd and y even then we can say curve is symmetric about y axis so for y axis symmetry about y axis we have two points first if uh, simply if x is or y is even then curve is symmetric about y axis and after replacing t by pi minus t we get x is or and y is even then curve is symmetric about y axis these are the two points for y axis third is symmetry in opposite quadrant so if x and y both are or functions then curve is symmetric in opposite quadrant so next point is point of intersection so at some point or at t equals to 0 if we get x equals to 0 and y equals to 0 then curve is passing through origin similarly we have to find intersection with coordinate axis that is after putting x equals to 0 we can find values of y and after putting y equals to 0 we can find values of x values of y and values of x next nature of 
tangent. So, to find nature of tangent, we have to find dy upon dx and which is equals to for parametric curves, we have to find dy upon dt by dx upon dt. Okay, we have to find this. So, we have to find derivative of y separately and derivative of x separately and divide. So, this is dy upon dx and find some values or find table for some values of x, y, dy upon dx. Okay, we have to make this table x, y, dy upon dx for different values of t. Okay, remember this. Next is asymptote and region of absence. So, for asymptote, find asymptote, of asymptote if we get any and second is find region of absence by using same technique we are using in Cartesian or we can use only limitations of curve. With this we can uh, by using the, all these points we can trace our parametric curve. So first point is limitation, second is symmetry, third is point of intersection and last is nature of tangents. Okay, thank you.